Hey, this is Jie Zheng from JieZhengDigital.com and in this video, I'm going to share with you one important step that I want you to be careful uh, if you are the SFM member. Uh, when you connect with the SFM campaign, uh, there's one thing you need to make sure to set up right. So in the Aweber, uh, you have the legacy follow-up is in the message uh, legacy follow-up series okay and then scroll down in a screen you are going to have a campaign sharing and in this code here um, see my mouse moving you're going to input the code that SFM provided you and you're going to click the load the campaign uh, I'm going to do that uh, I already did it so after after you loaded the uh, campaign, there's one thing you have to make sure is you need to go to uh, your list option and go to your panel light, uh, personalize your list. So at the end of this area, global text snippets, make sure, make sure you put your name uh, affiliate name here and here and here so any place you see the name is like John Smith you need to make sure to correct that and every time you load the campaign it's going to be John Smith and so if you make mistake or if you just loaded the campaign make sure you always put your affiliate ID uh, same as the membership in the SFM uh, in this area. Why this is so important? Because when you send out the follow-up series, uh, when someone click your uh, information when they want to purchase something, uh, we are going to know it's from you. So you are going to get the credit from this promotion or advertisement. And this is something I can share with you, very, very important. If you like my video, uh, subscribe my YouTube channel or talk with me. Have a great day.